Plastic is one of our greatest environmental challenges in Aotearoa, New Zealand. We regularly see it ending up as waste in the landfill or as litter in our environment. Three years ago, we kicked off the first phase of saying goodbye to plastic. Plastic bag ban is on the way. Phasing out single-use plastic bags in New Zealand. It's the plastic bag ban. Countless headlines around the world praise the move as one of the first countries to ban the bag. We understood the assignment so well, in fact, this pack-and-save bag has even become a collector's item selling online. He's dreaming. But Kiwis still face a daily panic while shopping, realising they've forgotten yet another reusable bag. And from July 1st, another nationwide plastic prohibition comes into effect. The sale and production of single-use plastic cutlery, plates, bowls and produce or fruit and vegetable bags will be banned. The government's also going to be restricting the use of single-use plastic straws. It's all part of the government's plan to say goodbye to most single-use plastics items by 2025. On average, each New Zealander produces approximately 60 kilograms of plastic per year. And supermarkets are keen to help get that down too. Foodstuffs is really right behind this program and phase out. When we are thinking about produce bags, I guess I'd love New Zealanders to ask themselves, do they really even need a bag at all? Of course, it depends on what you're getting. Even when I'm buying, say, five or six apples, I just put them in my trolley. Um, if you're going to buy 26 apples, uh, probably you do need to make sure you bring something from home. Advocates say moves like these are less about banning and more about embracing a better, greener mindset. Just think every day about reusing items rather than single-use anything. Let, let's just ditch single-use. What have, what have we really achieved by making life so difficult for ourselves? <laughs> it's not like when I go swimming off St Helens Beach, all of a sudden I'm surrounded by turtles now, or <laughs> dolphins. I'm you know, really what, proud. What have we achieved? I'm proud that New Zealand got rid of um, plastic bags from, yeah. I know it was a bit inconvenient and I missed them for a second use things, but as a nation that we did that's quite incredible. That is very cool. Yeah. I reckon the next step, it's great to hear that foodstuffs are so on board with getting rid of those wee ones we need to put our lemons and apples in, but imagine a world where all of the produce, like the big kilo bags of apples didn't have to come in plastic and the cucumbers didn't have to come wrapped in plastic. Why is the cucumber wrapped in plastic? Uh, speaking on behalf of big cucumber, I should check them from being damaged on the way to the supermarket. Well, why don't they do that to every single piece of fruit and vegetable if the cucumber the cucumber's got a solid skin. It doesn't need plastic. Think of the think of the plastic bag as, as a pest, like, like the rabbits. And then we introduced stoats and possums to get rid of the rabbits. Well, this mm -hmm. is what we've done with plastic bags, because hello, my house is just full of those brown paper ones now. Yeah. Mm. They've gone down behind the drawers and I can't even close the drawers. Brown paper bags, the stoats of the bag world. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for another flawless analogy. <laughs> All right.